Bali is a beautiful island, there's no doubt about that. But what with the traffic congestion in some places and the plastic litter, it's also a bit of an enigma. As part of a G-Adventures tour, guided by the expert G'day, Lindsay and I spent a lovely week staying in various places such as Sanur, Munduk, Kintamani, Ubud and Kandidasa, before going on to Lumbuk Island with the group. After a great time on Lumbuk, we returned to Bali for a further week under our own steam, spent mostly in Sidaman and Jimbaran. This is one of the roads through villages northwest of Ubud, on the way to the north of the island. The traffic is fine here, but it had taken ages to get out of the more built-up areas in the south around Denpasar. We headed for the Jatalui Rice Terraces, which are actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The rice terraces are stunning and I took many photos. There's something that makes you feel very serene when you walk among such a beautiful manicured landscape and see all the work that's gone into it. This is our G-Adventures group. People from a number of countries including Canada, Turkey, the US, the UK, Denmark and Hungary. And what a well-travelled bunch they were. Some were on holiday breaks and others were in the middle of an extended tour. After the rice paddies, we were driven to the Ulindanu temple complex. I thought for a split second that this was Dennis Hopper coming out of Apocalypse Now. On the way to the homestay, we stopped at a local market where we saw several fruits we'd not seen before. Most were quite tasty. It was a nice homestay in Munduk, with good food. After a swim in the hot springs, we got into a pickup and were driven to the Boolean homestay for a very tasty lunch and then some traditional Balinese dancing.
There was a session on making Hindu offerings and a bit of dressing up in traditional clothes for a blessing in a local temple. So this is the biggest uh, lake we have in Bali. So now you are complete actually. You see all of the, our lake in Bali. Yeah, this is Batur, Batur Lake. And also on the cross of the lake, you can see two, two o'clock, you can see the small village over there. That's the native people of Bali. They don't have any access, strict access to come there. They must be... The Batur crater refused to show itself. The next day we stopped off at a water temple which is regarded as a very holy place where people can go to get purified. and then to Ubud and an evening of entertainment in the palace. Instead of going to the monkey forest in Ubud, we decided on a Balinese cooking lesson, which was great fun, and started in a local market where we saw some of the produce we'd be using later on. At the Kanting Bali cooking class, we were introduced to all the ingredients, some of which were new to me.
then we were put to work on preparation, pounding, and eventually cooking. And this is what we cooked, with much help from the assistants I should quickly add, and it tasted extremely good I must say. The next day on the way to the coast we stopped at Carthagosa, the historic court of justice. After a pleasant evening in Candidasa, some of us enjoyed a morning snorkeling trip. The G-Adventures trip continued to the island of Lombok, about which I'll post in another video. And after that we returned to Bali where Lindsay and I spent a few days under our own steam up in hills near Sidiman, in a very nice small hotel with wonderful views over rice fields towards Mount Dagung. There's some good, but very hot, walking to be done up in these valleys. Each day we'd walk for a few hours and then recover from the heat with a drink and food in a local warum. We were told that idyllic cinnamon was what most of Bali used to be like.
Then it was back south, through the traffic, to Jimbaran Beach. There's simply too much traffic on the roads. And this was happening before the main tourist season started. The southern part of Jimbaran Beach is quite nice, with various seafood restaurants. But if you walk north along the beach, this is what you see. Two miles of plastic rubbish, which gets worse the further you go. Something really needs to be done to stop such pollution. That was about it for our Bali trip, but I said at the beginning how good the food was, so here's some examples. Not sure about the chicken skin, my dear. Thanks for watching. See you next time.